Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with AEW Dynamite broadcast live last night on TBS from the KFC Yum Center in Louisville, Kentucky. In the main event, AEW World Champion MJF and his surprise partners, the acclaimed and Billy Gunn, fell in defeat to Bullet Club Gold. The finish came when Jay White of Bullet Club Gold pinned MJF after a switchblade. It was the first time MJF has been pinned since becoming AEW World Champion. MJF was saved after the match when Max Caster stepped in front of him to sustain a blow from the AEW Championship belt from Jay White, who remains in possession of the physical belt. He's waiting for MJF to turn around. MJF is up and has to come out. Oh, he took he took the bullet! Caster took the bullet! Wow! Whoa! Man. Max Caster pushing MJF out of the way to save him from the from the title belt from that, that blindside shot by Switchblade Jay White. Caster showing his true friendship. No question to us. MJF. Mogul Embassy took the Ring of Honor six-man tag team championship on the show, defeating the Young Bucks and Hangman Adam Page. During an in-ring promo, Adam Copeland agreed to be the tag team partner of Sting and Darby Allin for their match against Christian Cage, Luchasaurus, and Nick Wayne at full gear on November 18th. The decision came after Allin and Sting saved Copeland from an attack by Cage and company. Unbeknownst to the TNT champion, the rated R superstars coming in hot, I'm telling you. And it's big! Snap my neck, I'm gonna beat your ass! It is on you, stupid little son of a bitch! Sting, you are right. You want a partner of full gear, Darby? You want a partner of full gear? I'm your man. Also on the show, Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega accepted the challenge of the Don Callis family for a street fight on Dynamite in two weeks announcing that their tag team partners for the match would be Kota Ibushi and Paul White. In other results, Hikaru Shida retained the AEW World Women's title against Willow Nightingale, and Orange Cassidy retained the international title against Claudio Castagnoli in the opening match. Cassidy was jumped by John Moxley following the match. In corporate news, Endeavor Group may have just purchased WWE, but Endeavor itself may soon be up for sale. According to a report from Bloomberg, Silver Lake Management, the private equity firm that owns 71% of the voting power for Endeavor, is looking into partnering with another Endeavor shareholder, Abu Dhabi Wealth Fund Mubadla Investment, in a bid to purchase Endeavor outright. The two groups are reportedly looking into how much to invest in a potential sale, which could be completed by the end of the year, according to CNBC's David Faber. Silver Lake has stated that it is not interested in selling off its own shares in Endeavor, nor would it consider offers to sell off any of Endeavor's individual assets, which include TKO, the umbrella company that controls both WWE and UFC. The news comes after recent public remarks from Silver Lake indicating that it was interested in taking Endeavor private. In ratings news, NXT saw a nearly 15% drop in viewership this week, with 674,000 viewers tuning in to watch Part 2 of NXT Halloween Havoc last Tuesday night on the USA Network, according to Sports TV ratings. That's down from last week's total viewership of 778,000. The rating in the key 18-49 to year old demographic was .20, down slightly from last week's .21 key demo rating. And in independent wrestling news, Matt Riddle has been booked for the first time since being let go from WWE in September. Riddle is scheduled to face Rob Van Dam on March 9th at Big Time Wrestling's The Reunion 3 in Chillicothe, Ohio, according to Big Time Wrestling promoter Bobby Fulton. The match would be the first time that Riddle and Van Dam have ever faced off. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, You can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. 
And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News Podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the Wrestling News across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.